Because of Hamayun Wafa's former job as a Canadian military interpreter, he knew the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan was going to put the lives of his extended family at risk. I couldn't let my uh, family to stay there and die. So just before the Taliban took over, he helped them get to neighboring Tajikistan. A few weeks later, the Canadian government started a program to fast-track immigration for family members like them. Wafa applied but was told they didn't qualify because they had left before the program began. And I never expected uh, from the government of Canada to give me that really bad news. CBC News has spoken to two other former military employees whose families also made it to Tajikistan and got the same kind of bad news from Canada. It got even worse for one of them. They brought him over to the, to the, to the border and then they forcibly deported him. Sangeen Abdul Mateen says Tajikistan police sent his younger brother's family back to Afghanistan. Now they live in hiding. We've literally lost all our life there, our house, our, our property, are, are everything. So where is he going to go right now? This refugee lawyer says Canada should come up with policies to help more Afghans. Well, it seems uh, a bit arbitrary to set those kinds of firm deadlines. Um, in these circumstances, it would make sense that there would be a measure of uh, flexibility given uh, that these individuals' lives are at stake. My understanding is deportations from Tajikistan have stopped. But the immigration minister acknowledges the situation is bad for those already sent back. We're going to work with our counterparts in global affairs to do everything we can to ensure anybody who qualifies for Canada's program is still able to make it to Canada. Meanwhile, Mateen and Wafa are still waiting for answers while time runs short for their loved ones. Rafi Bujikani, CBC News, Ottawa.